Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28. Now a handoff here to his running back. The game's first play. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Second and four. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 16 yards, a first down. Get a lot of credit, but even more so because there was a defender there ready to make a play. Yeah, just flat out muscled on that one. Then he'll give it here to his running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. He'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Man. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Denver has the first down, the play going for 15. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. Three yards on the pick. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 34. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. And this on the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Probably be the last play of the quarter. On here. From the gun, Lawrence. And he finds a man on the crossing round. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colton together. A nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, how you guys going to come out of the gate? You're the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. 
Throwing again on second and 10. Lawrence, this pass complete to Higgins. And he's that sets him up better for third down. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. From down from a moment ago, 7 0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this will go for five up to the. Do some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 14 on that one and a one. What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Now this one complete on the slam. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. And to give this time to the tailback. And just no chance of turning the corner. 10 coming up. to throw now on second and ten. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Let's go, Let's go. Simple two, pitch and catch, two, but you and I both know slam, that they have two. planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Wide open receiver complete, and he will be brought down at about the passes. All three passes have been completions, first and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Seven over possession of the football. I want to discuss their week six victory. They shut out Tennessee. So now they're two and four. Two straight wins after the 0 4 start. Went out of nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And a pressure gets to him again. Set, baby. Set, baby. So a touchdown. This third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up? The three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Second and 13. And that'll be incomplete. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28 yard. Running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Oh. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Please enjoy the conversation post, because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Colts have taken the lead. All the receivers. Devin as they come up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30. I don't like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept their mid in by making the plays that they've made. And that just means your defense step up and make that play because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's as well as anyone in how I look at a game. I don't ever advocate abandoning anything. But in this case, I'm going against my own thought process. You've got to change it up. You gotta start throwing it around a little bit. Just isn't working for them. Yeah, maybe get him the ball out of the passing game. A swing pass outside or something, just something to bury it up. Back to throw. Lawrence. 
Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. You never want to give up a sack from the old, especially because they felt like they let little brother. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score a pick up there, it'll be second down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 20. They'll look to throw here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sullivan. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Please, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So critical at this stage of the game is now they've got it third and long. Now meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But punt, absolutely ideal. They pin him inside the five yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. Open man is Higgins. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. Denver has a first. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Just a one yard. They can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Second and nine now. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And they will take over at the 26 yard line. The football has been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him, but it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh no, he lost the football. Down to the 25, to it, as we come up on a big third down. They'll look to throw here. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally wrestled down at the eight yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. To keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Buying time to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. From eight yards out. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for home. Down by two touchdowns, 2.14 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to go. the 25. Play there for Denver, 45 yards. Back to throw, Lawrence. He's going to find his running back. It's complete on the play. First down now, but that clock rolling. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Lawrence. 
And that's going to be incomplete. You know, a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about it. Well, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. On fourth down, Lawrence. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. On the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And the Colts are going to recover the football. And that should be enough to get them home. The fourth Let's quarter. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the little type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop a nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Right back to him on first down. And he'll go down here right around the 20, but it gets him to second and four. That one looks like he'll throw here. That'll be incomplete with nine. They face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. The Colts in victory formation now is... Well, partner, even though my phone alarm failed me this morning and I missed our AM workout, we still made it through this thing together, didn't we? Well, you always know I need extra workouts just to keep oh, up come with you, on. so it doesn't matter. But thanks for sharing a booth, and thanks for being our quarterback. Yeah, you're the quarterback. Always a pleasure, my friend. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.